I do believe in second chances. I do believe in that. But this was 17 years ago, and he hasn't been on rehabilitated yet. Emotional words from a rape survivor inside a Mahoning County court today. She described that crime happened more than 17 years ago, but the horrific events have impacted her ever since. One of the teens sentenced in that crime was ordered to spend more than 100 years in prison. But the high court threw out the punishment, saying it was too cruel. Today, the victim, shaking at times, talked about how she's still haunted by memories of the attack. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has her story tonight. Having already watched Brandon Moore be sentenced twice over the last 16 years, for Melissa Klobcher, today is not so much about personal satisfaction. It's a sentence that I have to live with, but it knows that he can't hurt anybody else, and I think that's always my motivation. When Melissa was a 21-year-old YSU student, she and several others were kidnapped and robbed, and then she was repeatedly raped. A year later, Moore and three others were convicted. At that time, Judge Scott Krishbaum told the defendants they'd never be rehabilitated, saying it would be a waste of time and money and common sense to even give it a try. Moore was sentenced to 141 years in prison, but the defendant was just 15 at the time, and eventually the Ohio Supreme Court ruled that amounted to cruel and unusual punishment. In court today for Moore's second resentencing, the victim, who didn't mind being shown, told the judge she now serves a life term of her own. My prison ultimately brought me down. Despite an exhaustive defense by his lawyer and an apology from Moore himself, Judge Maureen Sweeney gave the defendant a 50-year sentence, making the now 32-year-old eligible for parole when he's 62. We're protected for at least another 30 years. The victim, who's married and lives in another state, says she suffered through an eating disorder and post-traumatic stress because of her ordeal. Brandon Moore was the one that abducted me. He could have left me and I wouldn't have had to go through what I had to go through that night. While Melissa says she believes Moore is sorry for what he's done, he still has to be held accountable. He ultimately made the decision what happened to me that night. She says she wants to be sure he can never, ever hurt anyone else. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.